Salate, this is Jeff. This is David. Hi, David. Let's play Sekiro. All Last right. time, nothing unusual happened, and we got to this part of the palace. Yes. And I can feel it in my bones that there we're very near the end, but we're also not near the end at all because there are a number of insanely difficult bosses that we still have yet to face. Yeah. So let's just get to it. Okay. Well, it looks like there was something at the bottom of the water. Oh, also lizards that should die. Did it. Yeah, what is that, Chloe? Whoop. Soul balloon. It's fine. I think that's the only thing down here. Also, I'm, I'm gonna ignore those geckos. They're, they're it's fine. They it's can fine. they can just live. They can just survive. They're just they're just minding their own business. They can thrive in their own way. Uh, we can go up and we can go down. Uh. uh Technically, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. We're going to go up, okay. and then at a specific point, we're going to go back down. Because <laughs> there's going to be a giant <laughs> rush of water that knocks you back down. Ha, ha. Let's see if I can get around this side here. I assume that's what's happening, at least. Who's that? we got some uh, folks we can... Uh, I wonder if we can curve around towards me here. Okay. Maybe. Right, oh, hey, okay, the there's an idol. Take a sit. I'm gonna take a sit. That idol is super close to the other one. <laughs> Are we gonna reset some things? We're gonna stab some folks. This is the sanctuary. This is. Remember when I said uh, earlier on in the video, uh, minutes, months, or years ago, that I was gonna go up and then go back down? Uh, well, we made it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm very so this, confused. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll let you know. This, this is the top of the sacred mountain for oh. all intents and purposes. Uh, and this shrine here, even though it does not say it anywhere, is the point of no return for things that are not completely obvious. Oh, so, so don't set so, foot in there yet. Yeah, we, we can't examine the uh, priestess laying on the shrine over there. Uh, hmm. If we do so, it'll kind of lock us into a particular path, so to speak. Oh. Okay. Uh, but that's okay. We rested here, so whenever we're done with what we need to do, we can come back to the sanctuary in order to um, step through there and advance the main plot to the end game. Uh, here's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, not fight enemies anymore. I kind of want to... I'm going to be real, real talk, David. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to play Sekiro anymore, So we've been doing it for a whole year. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it turns and out these long series, full games, these, yeah, playthroughs take a kind, really long time. They, it takes a very long time to get through this. Uh -huh. you, you have seen the majority of Sekiro, and the stuff that's left is very good, but it is exceptionally difficult. I, do, do I have to do this? No, I don't. But I did do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I mean, there's a shiny there. I mean, I mean yeah, gonna you gotta it. get it's the not, shiny. Red lump. What is that one again? That's a brain. Oh. Why? I know, right? That's not really an answer, but okay. There's some more things to collect. More brains. Oh, magnetite. Scrap, magnetite and light coin, light coin purse. purse. Right. Did we kill the mega carp? We have not killed the mega carp. No. Okay. That the we can interact with the the mega carp. That's true. The uh, uh, that's something that we had left off from last time. But right. let's, let's do headless first. Yeah, headless first. I guess time to re murder. You might want a purple gourd. Yeah, purple gourd. I think he's shooting at me. He's shooting he is. at me a little bit here. Luckily, this pause is... Okay, let's go this way. Run away! 
Okay, my runaway button was a little delayed. I don't know how much of that is being underwater or this weird control lag or you almost no health. Almost. Want to bait an attack and then have the other one on the other side also be attacking, but then uh, I'm a little too far away. I need to bait a little bit closer. Right. It's a little too far away. Actually, I think the best thing to do is be a little bit closer to try and get the uh, the ring slash or the grab like that. Yeah, that thing. Oh my god, it's just such an annoying thing. It's almost dead though. Yep. <laughs> it was the worst time to resurrect. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Terror, dead, instant, cool. They were still around. Hide around here for safety. Right. The giant fish corpse helps. Kills both of them, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Yashiriko's. Yashiriko's Spiritfall. Pollen Headless Spirit of Yashiriku. Anyways, this is the better version of Akko. Headless oh, okay. or the ruined form of corrupted heroes once fought for the country. This brave soul's twin was lost in utero. May not have fallen to the palace nobles had his sibling been at his side. Oh. There you go. A, sa a sad from software story right. thrown in there. Well, we, the, we, have, we have destroyed the headless. All right. Well, there's some shinies down there. What need getting? Uh -huh. Treasure and some, car. Some giant treasure car. Okay, and giant uh, carp's uh, skeleton. What is this? Prayer bead. Oh. Yeah, that's useful. Currently has one in his possession. Okay. What are these glowy things on the ground? They look like parasites. I have a stupid joke. What do you what do you <laughs> what do you what do you call how much the the great carp uh, gets paid its salary? What? It's its carpe diem. <laughs> <sighs> it's not great, but I thought of it. I was like, I don't have a good way of working that into a conversation, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go for it right now. <laughs> you're just gonna you're gonna do the the most efficient segue, which is. Just say you you have yes. a joke. Uh, that's what we call subito <laughs> in the music world. <laughs> it's a legitimate kind of transition. So, Italian being the language of music, when you are trained to read it all, makes perfect sense. Uh, but when you're dealing with a lot of people who don't have that training, they're just like, "What does RIT mean?" It means retardando. It means slow down. It's, it means slow. It's fine. Actually, you know what it means? It means look at your director. <laughs> That's when, what it means. How is that different from a Sejo or a Decelerando? It's like, well... <laughs> okay, so De De Decelerando <laughs> is slow down a lot, but it's not that different. It's just up to your... Just look at the director. Just watch. Yeah, just watch. <laughs> You'll be fine. All right, let's talk to the grandpa. So you gotta feed it. Yes. There's the bell. Oh, nice. Ding. Oh, hi, buddy. These Select are the options. Please. Precious bait. Truly precious bait. Select truly pre precious bait. 
We're not going to do that yet. <laughs> okay, precious bait. <laughs> now, normally I'd just be like, ah, we'll see what happens. But in this case, um, I'm going to use all of the precious bait first to see what we get. Uh, when it doesn't let me do it anymore, then we can uh, reconsider our options. Okay. I think I've collected all of the precious bait that you can find, but I'm not really sure. It's been a while. They somehow made a fish look like an old man. Yeah, I know it's that old man that, looks like a fish. It's like that old. It's like an old man turned into a fish. Yes. Treasure carp scale. Treasure carp scale. Four of them, technically, in the side. Oh, wow. So you get a treasure carp scale by throwing in the uh, precious bait. Um, do you want me to just go forward with the truly precious, or do you want me to explain what will happen in case you want to make a different decision? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and explain in, in general terms. General terms. General terms. Throwing in a truly precious bait will end the quest line of the carp and the and the noble and the carp merchants and all of that. Okay. That is that is the last step. So generally speaking, if you still have precious bait, you can't give you can't give any more precious bait after you pick to give truly precious bait. Okay. Uh, and there is technically two types of truly precious bait. We have the one from Pot Noble in Harada Estates. Right. Uh, but there is also a Pot Noble here in the Fountainhead Palace. Well, let's give him uh, scales. Buy stuff. See what he gives us. Well, go ahead and get the Mass Fragment and the Lapis Lazuli, or at least one of them. See, so we'll need two, three, four. A well bred man you are. Please break. Can we find the other four here? I don't remember if there is exactly enough scales or if there is a few more than needed from going through the whole game. Right. I also don't remember if there is four more um, in the water here. I suppose we could check. It sounds incredibly boring. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> You could edit your inventory. Mm, let's open up uh, for those interested here. Let's bring it into the side. Assuming right. this isn't edited out, it'll be for someone to see. Let's open the process. We're doing Sekiro. Um, and then I've got a file already. Okay. Sekiro. It's also using it for Blasphemous to try and edit. There, there is a new thing for Blasphemous that I think changed a lot of the, uh, updated a lot of the finicky bits oh okay uh, uh no no that's not what i wanted it was load maybe it was load it's load is it load okay load sakura yep sounds good to me let's enable that oh so this is somebody's pre-made script yep 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 okay yeah there's <laughs> one here that's just called ignore sin which I mean means money, but I, I just right. interpret that as there's just a guy that's just <laughs> <laughs> on the side of the road, just like oh, I wanted to help. No, no, ignore him. Um, mm. You just have to change the number that's in your inventory, and then do a scan for the new number. Sure. Because if you do the do next that. scan, it keeps. The I'll scan. uh, I'll just do a backup save right next to Pot the, Noble uh, Merchant. Yeah. Uh, these are <laughs> these are my save backup files. Right. Uh, I'm gonna do that off. I'll just do this off screen. We'll do okay. this some other time. This is just taking too long. That's all. Okay. Oh, and there's some other stuff we can go back to. That's right. Okay. Let's try. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Yay. All right. Something I don't want to do, but we have to do. We'll just, we'll just give it a shot. So. We can go back to other areas of the game and there'll just be stuff there at some points. This is a part 
This is a part that I don't really agree with design-wise. The reason I don't agree with this is that it's just you go to a area you've already been to and then there's a there's a new fight there. I don't really know how you're supposed to know that, especially mm. at a certain point when you get to the end of the game and you're warping to... I mean, I guess maybe you warp to the area and you explore and you're like, oh, okay, there's a thing here, I guess. I don't right, know. But if you don't have a reason to think you should go back to a place you feel like you've... Because I also would like go through and explore areas that I was like, oh, I think there was a there was a headless here in the forest, so I go to the forest or you know something like that. But I didn't go through like this specific um, sort of shrine. Quiet! I'm trying to talk. All right. Is that a new guy? <laughs> yes, not here before. Oh, it's the Apri fight. Cut that Apri fight. Okay. You got this. I got this. Totally remember how to fight the ape. It, it was only like two months ago. <laughs> I think. Oh, wait. He's headless though, right? He's headless. So it's basically starting at that second phase. Uh-huh. Oh, he's doing that thing. Oh, right. The okay, stream. So that one's easy enough to... Oh, it murders the stream, though. <laughs> that's fun. Oh, that's right. Uh, I need the uh, freaking spear. Pull it out. Of course. All A right. little late. <laughs> All right. But now you remember this this particular phase is not that difficult. I just need him to do his. Yeah, a little bit in the wall there. Okay. Got some good damage. Good damage. Good damage. Okay. Step away. You've also done like a lot of posture damage to him. Mm -hmm. I mean it's recovering but still can you mario stomp that or no hmm i guess i not tried too much come on guy yeah that's the one i there want there you go <laughs> all right all right not quite there yet very close you gonna dive at me? Yeah, you are. Yeah. All right, let's get in there. Okay. okay. There you go. All right. Now, hold on. I'm gonna pause it. What do you think is going to happen, David, who has played a bunch of From Software games? A second ape is gonna come in. There's a second ape. <laughs> Yeah, it sure is. Oh, this is garbage. This is not a good way to add difficulty. Why do they keep doing it? Now, do I want to hit that one or this one? Let's go and see who jumps at me. Okay. There's a scream. And loaded spear is probably fine. Lilac, I don't need. I can. the The regular ape is weak to fires, okay. to firecrackers and whatnot. So this is the, can... this is the mate. The the guardian ape was tending the flower for. I just need to keep them separate. That's all. Right. Gotta keep them separated. Down, 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 down. I don't. Hmm. So this ape is like the first phase of the Guardian Ape fight. Ugh, yep. oh, didn't dodge. It's very uh, hard to read. Two enemies yeah. at once, in case yeah. you didn't know that after playing these games for over a decade. Yeah, and it's still a thing that I like doing, even though it is not a good way to increase difficulty, because it's just a 
freaking gigantic difficulty spike. It works okay with Ornstein and Smo because they are such different. It's, uh, oh, I oh hate every time gosh. this happens. It's so annoying. It it works this with Ornstein. <laughs> it lines up and you just can't do anything. Right. And then the camera is only focused on one because that's the way the game's designed. Mm -hmm. So I have to try and figure out which one do I want to try and hit. Ugh. Yeah. I should really go after one or the other. I should probably try right. and burn it down. Right. I just need to separate them. Oh. Firecracker, maybe a flame vent. Okay, like, he's doing that. If he could jump at me, that would be great. And it ran away. It ran away. It ran away. Which was tactically sound. <laughs> that makes sense that it would do that. Hi, camera. Hello. <laughs> oh, that almost got you. Heck, it's hyper armor through that. Nifty. That's neat. Out of man, the camera just hates me. Uh huh. <sighs> Out so of items, so I can't use the fire. So to finish the the thought I had on why Ornstein and Smo worked a lot better, there were very different attack speeds. There yes. were very different attack styles, and the room you were in had cover. Correct. All these things are true, and that's not true here. And it it hasn't been true in any of the multi-enemy fights that From Software has done since then. At least it doesn't feel like it. And this, I mean, the second ape doesn't have nearly as much health. Like, see, it's like half done. Right. Even so, it's the, it's just a pain in the ass. Right. I'm trying to watch the one in the back while uh, parrying the one in the front. And I'm waiting for one to get stuck in an animation and the other to hop at me. Like, mm -hmm. ideally, it would hop at me now, but it right. didn't. Can you so enrage was... them with your finger and make them fight each other? Hmm, that's a good question. I wonder if I can. Because if you see. can... I'm going to have to do some inputs here that I'm not <laughs> used to. Uh, uh -huh. Go this way. I believe in you. All right, do one of these. Do one of those. Oh. All right. Didn't seem to work. Do anything there. No. Well, you can do it one more time. Since you're out of healing. Oh, that's the that's the screen. <laughs> oh, that's the wall. Oh no! <laughs> Not dead. Not dead. Now I'm dead. Okay. Let's use my last hit here, block this, dodge back. Block, oh, the camera turned me backwards. That's, <sighs> all right. Whoop. I kind of wish the other gourds also just healed you a little bit. <laughs> Ugh. It's one hit. I think my okay. best bet is to use no spears and to only use shurikens for chip damage. Okay. Because, like, the, the one guy by himself, easy peasy, I mm -hmm. basically just stand there perfectly still and win. Okay. It's just trying to wrangle the two of them into a position where I can do some kind of damage. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the, the upward sort of uppercut that the second one does, I can I can dodge into it and get a get a cheap shot. Come on, do an attack. Kinda. Kinda. I call shenanigans on that block not working. Yeah, it just wasn't a parry. It's super easy if you get the parries. Right. Because then it goes into its, yeah. Stagger. Easy, to, uh, easy to stagger on this side. Okay, there we go. This one. 
Chase All it right. down. Some free hits. All right, I think that's all I could get from that. Yep. Oh boy, a little too close on that one. Can you use the shuriken dash to close distance? So much damage. Huh. Oh, it turned me around again. Cool. I can, yes, I can do that if I can okay. get into a spot. All right. Whoop. All right, let's heal off of that. All right, that's going down. Okay, good damage, good damage. Knocked him over. Good. Let's try and keep them both in front of me. Uh huh. If I can get that one to do one of those, easy enough. Now jump at me! Come on, you know you want to. Nope. No? You just. I mean, what about now? While screaming? Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna do a jump at the end. Slice, slice. All right, can't see the other one, so let's yep. go this way. Oof, thought that would be a... Hmm. I thought I would dodge into that one, but that was not the case. All right, huh. start an attack. All right. Can't dodge that. I can't dodge that direction. That's the wall. It's gonna do a jump. Let's do a heal. Let's double heal. Yeah, full health. What is this guy gonna do? Just gonna jump up? Okay. Let's dodge this way. Oh! So close. Oh, he's doing doing thrusts. Okay. The weirdest thrusts, because you generally don't thrust with a curved sword. All right, I think I might be able to do one of these. Okay. And. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Good. Good. Did the chip okay. damage? Okay. Now it's dead. And now it's just this the easy again. boss fight again. <laughs> Hooray! <sighs> Great that that works. Okay, not dead. That does a lot of damage. And <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! I could, I could feel the wall behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! I'm trying harder than that. Come on. Uh huh. All right, and and got a third one. It's oh, the I missed fall. that one. Ooh. And it just makes it recovers too fast. You got some combos for me. What do you got? What you got? What you uh, got? Just doing that. Now just throw some shurikens at you. All right. I like where this is going. Yes, 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 yes. Don't forget to hit it twice, though. Hit it twice. Let's get that. Now do the thing we should have done the first time. Yeah. Uh. 
It's a headless ape memory. There's a, a bit of an execution going on in the background. It's been okay. censored. <laughs> Colossal beast plagued with the power of the undying. Hmm. Okay. And a pair of bead. Nice. Pair of bead for both of them. True death. Not just for Sekiro. Yeah. Immortality severed. Okay. Bestowal ninjutsu. Now we can have uh, an extended blood sword. <laughs> oh. So you can kind of be this Maria? this technique upon beheading... There's always, it's always Maria. It's never not Maria. Fair enough. Uh, upon beheading a foe with the mortal blade, forming a cursed sword from spilled blood... Though it bears likeness to the mortal blade, it cannot kill the undying. At one time, the guardian ape shared its den with a mate, but he alone became infested while the other passed away. Now, even the flowers offered in tribute to her passing have withered to dust. There you go. Just another sad from software story. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm not sure what the sad. other ape was there. If it was supposed to be like representative of its mate or if it was like coming back from beyond death to help it maybe or if it, it was, was just like descendant another or yeah, another, another giant, giant ape. ape that was responding to the call it, right who knows? Huh. okay that was a fight uh-huh let's go visit our boy which boy our, our actual boy our little boy oh okay <laughs> Kuro. <laughs> Sorry, we've been using our boy a lot. I know. Look, it's a general term, you know. It's uh, a phrase, yeah. Our boy doesn't even have to be a boy. No, we we don't know if it is a boy. Say, our boy is gender neutral, to be fair. <laughs> right. It's just a boy. It's just our boy. We got to save our boy. Our boy. <laughs> it's like my skull. You just have to get it. <sighs> Hi, Emma. You're the worst. This. So there's a Byzantine set of steps you have to do in order to unlock the best ending. I'm trying to remember what they are at the moment. What do you have to do first? You have to... I think you have to... Yes. This is how you start. Okay. You have to, you have to eavesdrop on Kuro. Oh, wow. So let's start this, let's start this chain. We're almost there. Yes. Yeah. Do what must be done. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I've eavesdropped on Kuro. Sit here. Refresh the idol by resting. See if she moves. Oh, look. She's not here anymore. Oh, weird. Let's go upstairs. She's moved up here. Let's talk I to her here. Do what must be done. <laughs> that is what the Diviner said. He must be hiding something. I see uh, what is it? Lord Takeru spoke of beheading in his memoirs. Yes. Perhaps the act of beheading was the means to end immortality, along with the life of the divine heir. So you're telling what? me from software watched Highlander and Christian, that's where they got it? Then you must use Maybe. the blade to end my lord's life. Yes. Lord Kuro desires immortal severance. I understand that. I do. And yet, Master Wolf, might there be a path where Lord Kuro need not lose his life? The dragon's heritage is no ordinary power. There could be such a path. Well then, Master Wolf, I ask that you help me find such a path. A path where Lord Kuro need not die. <laughs> My lord's will is severance, or Kuro cannot be allowed to die. What's the best ending? I, I'm pretty sure we're going to say Kuro cannot be allowed to die. we got to try to save our boy. <laughs> That's fine. Yes, let's okay. save our boy. Let my lord die. Thank you. We must find a starting point. Yes. <sighs> oh, yes. Lady Tomoy's. Master Wolf, I might have a place to start. I'll look into it and let you know as soon as I find something. Thank you. Also, we may want to keep this from the divine air. Yes. Because he's so talkative normally. 
Mm -hmm. All right, let's refresh this again. I think it. Master Wolf, I found here. Okay, updated. All right, Tomoe's okay. note. Note written in Tomoe's soft handwriting. Lord Tekaru's coughs are worsening still. Turning to the divine realm is hopeless, and I wish only to sever the dragon's heritage and restore his humanity. Restoration requires the Ever Blossom and Mortal Blade, and yet I cannot acquire the latter. It was hidden by the High Priest of Simpo Temple, who has no desire to sever the immortal ties. Purification? Yes. It says here, there is a way to cut the ties of the dragon's blood and transform its owner into a regular human being. The process requires a flower from the Ever Blossom, as I told you once before. The Ever Blossom is a Sakura tree that Lord Takeru brought here from the Divine Realm. However, someone cut a branch from the tree and stole the flowers, and the Ever Blossom eventually dried and withered away. So the Ever Blossom didn't live up to its namesake. has been entirely <laughs> lost. If the tree itself no longer exists, the flowers don't exist either. Correct, but. The branch that was stolen did have flowers on it, so if it could be found... Is this the branch from the Everblossom <laughs> tree? It was... in my father's possession. Master Owl, but there are no flowers on this branch. Hmm. What's wrong? It's nothing. I was just trying to remember back to when the Everblossom still flourished. But try as I might, the memory is hazy. Their graves. What? I think I'll pay a visit to Lord Takeru and Lady Tomoe's graves. That's where the Ever Blossom once grew. Something might come back to me. Okay. That seems to be a pretty in good indication to <laughs> warp over to the grave. Uh, Ashina Castle, old grave. Respectful enough to put the sword away here. Mm hmm. <sighs> Why must that be the only way? Hello? Uh, Master Wolf, <laughs> how long have you been there? Have you remembered anything? <laughs> Just got Nothing. here. Just arrived. Nothing. That's right. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to remember anything significant. Perhaps one of my old friends can help. I'll meet with Orangutan uh, at his temple. Orangutan? Yes. It's the sculptor's old nickname. Oh, right, because he was a monkey ninja. Lord Genichiro and mm -hmm. I would come here a lot. Lord Takeru would play the flute, and Lady Tomoe would dance under the Ever Blossom. It was a wonderful sight. Perhaps one of my old friends has some memories of those days. I'll speak with the Rangatai at his temple. Oh, you're here, Master Wolf. How'd she get here so fast? Able to help? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid we'll need to look for other clues. I have a gourd seed. Thanks. <laughs> I don't have any more gourds. Because it can't be upgraded oh, further. Okay. Here's where some more from software BS comes in. Okay. You have to run behind the temple now? Uh huh. Uh. We have to eavesdrop. Emma, so that shit will be here. I can't honestly say. To achieve their goal of immortal severance, either he or Lord Kuro must die. Why does that have to be the only way? So will you keep that from them? But to Rangutan, if I give this to him, he's going to die. Okay. Now okay. we can confront them with our knowledge. Okay, they, that at least makes some sense. Yeah, they were keeping it from me, but I mean, of course they're... Oh, you're here, of course Sekiro would want to die for Kuro. That doesn't even... That's not even a question, I feel like. I'm afraid we'll need to look for other clues. <laughs> There's a new option. <laughs> One of us about what you die. Over. What did that mean? Were you listening this whole time? Tell me. Uh, I saw it. That day beneath the branches of the Ever Blossom tree, Lady Tomoe tried to commit suicide. Why? She said those made immortal by the oath of the dragon's heritage shackle their masters. So in order for the purification to occur, 
The Oathbound of the Dragon's heritage must die? Yes, precisely. But she was unable to achieve the purification. Correct. She did not have the mortal blade. Hmm. I don't want to lose Lord Kuro, or you, but all paths are leading to dead ends. Ask what she is hiding. What are you hiding? Uh, so you overheard. Tell me. <sighs> Do what must be done. I will live by those words, as my master does. Here. Father's bell charm, previously owned by the owl. The owl held this bell for a long time, offering it at the dilapidated temple may result in seeing a different memory than before. There's no way of knowing why this protective bell exists. Perhaps the owl kept it for himself, or perhaps he meant to give it to someone. Ah, uh, some more time travel. It fell off Owl's dead body, if I'm not mistaken. You and Master Owl have a deep connection. Should you yeah, there's some history the there, death, yeah. <laughs> it may be a different experience than the one you had before. I will try it. I am not sure what memories you will see. But the bell belonged to Master Owl. So please, take care. Goodbye, Master Wolf. Okay, we've got Father's Bell. Which means right. we can get to Harada Estate V2. <laughs> yeah. A different past. A further back past, perhaps. Whoosh! Maybe not a further back. Oh, wait, yeah, this is when uh, Sekiro became Orphan Man. No, 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 that was... That's too far in the past. Oh, okay. This is... This is the same basic time at the Harada Estate. Just from Owl's perspective. Yes. We're... We're gonna see a little bit more. It, I'd say it's probably, like, the same thing as what happened before when we fought Lady Butterfly. Maybe, like, 30 minutes sooner. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, here's our vista. Uh, if you've enjoyed this and the other things we make, uh, please go and support us on Patreon. It is a great way to help us in what we do. Uh, you can also do PayPal, but or you know, commenting on the videos, sharing them with people you like uh, or people you think will like it. But I'll, you should also like them. Like, don't hate share. Well, hate share is fine because it's still a share. All right, all right. Um, but yeah, we love making this stuff. And that is a great way to make it easier for us to do it. Sekiro. Shadows die a lot because of poor game design. <laughs>